Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special guest from AMD. This is Brent Berry. He has dared me to uh, repeat his actual title, <laughs> which is the Senior Manager of North American Component Marketing. Did you I get did it? it? You got it. Welcome, wow. Brent, and thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, we have a special announcement today. Uh, for those of you who don't already know, the AMD FX series of processors is finally launched, and we are ready for them. And Brent is here to give us some more information about it. So, Brent. When it comes to the AMD FX series processors, I hear the term bulldozer thrown, a lot, thrown around a lot, I should say. And uh, that is a code name. And uh, there are a few other that are bouncing around out there. So can you clarify for us, what is bulldozer specifically? And uh, what are the uh, other code names that we might have heard? Right. So bulldozers are brand new architecture. Uh, so we have Opteron products. We also have desktop uh, FX products that are going to be based on the bulldozer architecture. So what we're talking about today with the AMD FX series is, the, is that version of Bulldozer. Um, there's also a, the actual processor code name that we use internally is uh, Zambezi, which you might have heard okay. as well. Um, and, uh, and we also have the uh, Scorpius platform. So when you put the AMD FX series processor together with our new AM3+, Plus, like the 990 FX series chipsets, and a AMD Radeon HD 6000 series graphics cards, you get the Scorpius platform. So you get sort of the holy trinity of AMD components all together. Exactly. You unlock an achievement. And it becomes Scorpius. The Scorpius achievement. Right. Exactly. But for today, for today, we're focusing more on the, uh, the FX series uh, and, as you said, the Zambezi codename processors, right. uh, which are for desktops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we have that one example of it right here behind us. We've got the AMD FX series uh, 8150 processor. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Do we have a okay. spotlight for it? <laughs> it sort of gives off its own glow, I think. And uh, we have, uh, this is an 8-core processor? Yeah, this is the 8-core processor. Okay. So the, when you look at the model numbers, there's, there's 8,000 series, which are, are um, the 8-core. We have 6,000 that are launching. The 6100 is launching as well. That's a 6-core. And we we'll eventually will have the 4000 series, which will be the four core versions as well. Okay, so you have a whole range of uh, CPUs available? Yeah, a whole range. Uh, now, a question out there, because I know we recently saw Lano come out from uh, AMD, and Lano right. is an APU, an accelerated processing unit, combines GPU and CPU on the same die. Uh, does uh, the FX series include a GPU as well, or is it uh, just a straight CPU? This is just a straight CPU. This is a discrete CPU, enthusiast class CPU. Okay. So you're going to combine this with high-end graphics. So the folks who are purchasing this CPU, most likely, are going to be using discrete graphics. Yeah. Probably a 6000 series from yeah, AMD. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they'll be, using the, they'll be using discrete graphics, probably high-end graphics. I mean, we have uh, AMD, we have the world's fastest graphics card with the, uh, with the AMD Radeon HD 6990. Uh, and this is a record-breaking CPU. Uh, the discrete class, kind of a, a discrete CPU. Um, you know, this is a this is a beast made for overclocking. So now that we've uh, demystified the code name, so to speak, I am going to be so bold as to pick up my first AMD FX series processor. And this I see is a this is a retail model here. This is not an engineering sample. Yeah, it and, is. And and I'm seeing 8100 here. So uh, can you let us know uh, what's going to be available uh, at launch for the FX series? Yeah, so we'll have, uh, day of launch, we'll have two 8-core processors, the 8150 and the 8120. Is the 8000 uh, just sort of family there that uh, indicates 8 cores? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 8000 series are the 8 cores. There's also a 6000 series. So at launch, we'll have a 6100, and that's a 6-core processor. There also, later on, there'll be a 4000 series. Uh, that'll be the 4-core. Uh, that'll be available as well. Okay. So, but all across that whole range, uh, the eight core, the six core, eventual four core, every single FX processor is unlocked. So unlocked, ready to overclock. All overclockable. All overclockable, Very unlocked nice. multipliers. I like it. And uh, speaking of overclocking, what are we going to start with there as far as uh, base frequency goes for those launch models? So the 8150 will be 3.6 gigahertz. The 8120 will be 3.1 gigahertz. And the 6100 will be 3.3 gigahertz. And those are the native clocks? Those are the native clocks. All of these processors also have AMD Turbo Core technology. AMD, uh, AMD Turbo Core technology basically gives us the ability to change the frequency of the processor based on what's going on in the, in the system, what kind of application use we have. 
We have this with, uh, with the current version of our Phenom 2 X6 processors. This is just a much more advanced version of it. It's kind of similar. The APUs, uh, when we last talked, the APUs also have turbo core technology, but this is a bit more aggressive. So it has, uh, there's one standard base frequency mode. So exa for example, for the 8150, that's at 3.6 gigahertz. Then there's a, uh, an all core turbo core max. And for that processor, for the 8150, that's at 3.9 gigahertz. Okay. Then there's also a, another version, which the half the cores are turned off, and the other half of the cores are maxed out. And for the 8150, that's at 4.2 gigahertz. So you go from a 3.6 to a 4.2, and you don't even have to do anything. This is before you start to overclock. So that's all built in. Yeah, all then, built in uh, frequency. Okay, so to stay under the TDP of each chip, uh, you have that all eight, all eight cores overclocked to a right. certain frequency, and then you can overclock or have that automatic overclock for just four of the cores to an even higher frequency. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So each of the processors, it varies through each processor, so you can check the specs to see, you know, kind of what variation you get based on the product. But yeah, they all have AMD Turbo Core technology. It gives you a good boost. Some of our, uh, some of our benchmarking has shown, uh, you know, a, an easy 5 to 10% boost in performance. Very nice, and uh, especially to have that right out of the box. Yeah, exactly. No overclocking necessary. Yeah, exactly. But of um, course, they're unlocked, so you can't overclock if you. Yeah, exactly. Again, high. yeah, if they're they're all unlocked, uh, they all. Of course, we still have our AMD Overdrive uh, uh, software, which gives you super easy access to overclocking. Gives you access to all the all the clocks, all the frequencies, all the voltage, everything. So you can uh, you, know, you can use that to 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 overclock. You can use the old tried and true methods in your BIOS. Um, but it's all it's all easy. The nice thing about having that multiplier unlocked is, you know, it's it makes it easy to to boost and get something out of it. Um, the all the processors also just kind of going back to some of the specs. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the processors have uh, have eight megabytes of L3 cache, okay. which is important to help give you that performance boost. And then each of the processors have one megabyte per core of L2 cache. So, for example, for the 8-core, that's going to give you 8 megabytes of L2 cache. Now, when we talk about uh, the FX series, uh, FX brings up some memories for me mm -hmm. personally. Uh, if we go back to the mid-2000s, uh, I believe, according to what we maybe just looked up on the internet, 2003, <laughs> the original <laughs> FX51 series uh, processor, or FX51 processor, from AMD, uh, what you guys came out with as an enthusiast level processor for the uh, folks who are looking for the best of the best, fastest available, and uh, the FX series here definitely hails back to that. Yeah, absolutely. Totally intentional. The FX51 was a, I think it was a real milestone for enthusiast computing. It was an unlocked, super fast processor. We continued that series through with a, a bunch of single core FX processors. Uh, 2006, then we launched the, uh, the dual-core version of FX. The FX60. FX60, exactly. Uh, and so, you know, uh, you know we were, AMD's always been very proud of our FX series of products that we had. And so, you know, when we were bringing the, the bulldozer products, we really wanted a, we wanted a brand that really denoted what we thought of them and how special we thought that they were. So we, you know, we chose, again, the FX brand. And we, you know, we did some other things as well. The FX, the, the 8150 comes in this uh, kind of a collector's special um, 10 that, uh, you know, that could be multi-purpose use afterwards so you can show your, show your FX pride. Um, the, other pro the other products will be shipped in, uh, 8 series will be shipped in a black box and the 6 core and the 4 core products are being shipped in uh, these, you know, nice white boxes. Um, but you can see also, I mean, even on the logo, we've called out that this is unlocked. Unlocked. So yeah, unlocked, and so I mean we're yeah we're proud. This is the the kind of product, the kind of enthusiast class product you can grab, and you can overclock and break some records. Now it's it's funny you mentioned records. Conveniently enough, uh, <laughs> I've heard through the grapevine, and I possibly seen a video recently that the uh, highest level FX processor has recently broken a world record for the fastest overclock. The uh, largest, uh, the, the highest frequency overclock for a consumer level processor. Yeah, you know, Paul, I just so happened to bring the Guinness certificate. Oh, really? Yeah. So we had a, uh, this was, I thought this was really cool. This was the first time I'd held a Guinness record in my I, hand. I have never seen one. The, uh, we, uh, we had an event out. We invited a bunch of the, you know, a bunch of tech press, top, top tech press, 
and we had them out, uh, and we did an overclocking activity where we we had liquid nitrogen, we had liquid helium, and we pushed our silicon to the absolute limits that we could. And uh, we invited them out to our campus in Austin, and we ended up hitting 8.42 gigahertz. And uh, and Guinness was there with us to certify that as the world record for the highest clock frequency achieved by a silicon processor. So not even just consumer level, but any silicon processor. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty important, I thought. I mean, you know, of course, not everybody's going to be walking around with a house full of liquid helium to, to get to this kind of a level. I need to restock, actually. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, but, I mean, the important thing, I think, is how easy it is to overclock these products. You know, the, because they're unlocked, um, because they're ready to overclock, uh, you know, even when you're, you know, just like using air or liquid cooling or, you know, some of the other, you know, easier to come by forms of overclocking, you can hit some pretty extreme numbers. And speaking of which, uh, our friend from ASUS, JJ, uh, recently stopped by. He used this motherboard right, oh, Crosshair 5 Formula motherboard right, uh, right here, which is a 990FX motherboard. And uh, you guys should check it out. We have another video up as well with some bulldozer overclocking. He used an 8120. And right. just using a $30, $35 air cooler, budget air cooler, uh, he was able to get up to 4.8 gigahertz uh, without too much trouble. Yeah, pretty. It's a, it's a great board. That's the board we used for our overclocking experiment as well. Oh, so yeah. you're saying that JJ should have gone higher. Yeah, yeah I think he <laughs> missed it by about 4 gigahertz. And uh, on that note, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, once again, this has been Brent Berry from AMD here to talk about the AMD FX series of processors. Brent, once again, thank you very much for stopping by. Hey, thank you so much for having me, and thank you guys for tuning in. And if you guys are interested, uh, head over to Newegg.com and look up the AMD FX processors. They are available for sale for all those of you who have been waiting. I am Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Newegg TV.